Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Forza Horizon 4. Um, we have got one more race to do, uh, kind of official race on the uh, the Fortune Island at the moment, which is the uh, the Kraken race. Uh, just under Leviathan, as you've probably seen in any other video. Um, I was going to give this one a go in uh, the Koenigsegg, because I was thinking, oh, that's a you know, really fast road car, it should do me quite well. Um, after driving it around the island for a little while, I kind of said to myself, this is the wrong one to do. Um, it's not the right sort of car to use it in. You have lots of power, don't get me wrong, because it is a ridiculously fast car. Um, but it's not all that grippy. Um, you do tend to just slide off all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose uh, a kind of a, an A-class car um, at the moment, an A-class base car, and upgrade it to S1 or S2 or something and see what I can do in it. I'm probably going to choose a Forza Edition car as well, because I think they might be the best ones for me at the moment. So, um, I am going to try and choose a car which I can think of, uh, which might be quite good for me. And I've always had a bit of a thing for the Mercedes A45 uh, AMG, or the SL55. Uh, that's the one from for uh, from Gran Turismo. Hmm, interesting. Well, there's the SLS. Now, if I take the SLS, that's already really fast. So I'm not going to go for that one just yet. I think I might go for the SL65. It's a Super GT already. Uh, if I take the A45 and tune the absolute nuts off of it. <laughs> well, that one. Yes, so, ooh. Mm. Ah, that's tempting. That GTR is quite nice. I need the handling to be absolute max, so I'm going to go for this one. So the A45 is A-class, um, it's basically the A250 on the base. It's got uh, loads of different um, uh, handling changes to it. Um, I don't want it to look too different. Well, that's quite nice. Tempting. Um, oh, I quite like that one. That's a bit different. Let's go for that one. Yeah, so we're going to take this car and we're going to uh, pretty much max it out. I want to make sure that it is uh, fast enough that I can get around the course quickly, but also with enough handling to make sure that we can uh, get around the course, because <laughs> it is a quite a technical course, this one. Okay, that's fine, that looks alright. So let's go to upgrades and tuning. I'm going to find a new tune. Um, and I wanted to search... Let's go for an S1. Uh, let's go for... Oh, can I not choose best for handling? Right, grip. Good for speed. I mean, 829 horsepower in a car like this is going to be crazy. Uh, I want to find one which has got... Can I then filter this? No? I can't. Okay. Uh, handling 8.2, 8.2 seems the maximum for most of these. Right, I want to go for that one, I think. Still, 685 brake horsepower in a short wheelbase vehicle like this will be uh, pretty mental. Okay. Now we'll drive this down to the, the uh, start of the race. Away we go. Oh, that handles much better than the Koenigsegg. Yeah, I can actually drive this, and it's still quite fast. maybe not as fast as I'd like, but it's fine. Um, I could have always gone for an S2 tune, but I don't think that would be appropriate, really. Would have felt just a bit silly. So, yeah, it just grips. I like it. Yeah, 135 around that corner is pretty good. Yeah, it's just a short tap on the brakes to get around most corners. Right. Brake, 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 brake. 
Yeah, it looks like a nice, quite a nice car as well. Okay. On to the Kraken. I've already got an A45 AMG. Never mind. I've got two now. And of course it's in the rain because it hates me. Right, let's go. Right, yeah, the launch on this now is much, much better. Even on the Koenigsegg I was just wheel spinning. Because the rain is just, it's your enemy on this race, it really is. I don't want to be able to pull out nice and fast in this one. Out my way. Oh god. Oh, back end nearly went around then. Come on, out the way, Fiesta. Let's see if they listen to me that way. Oh, get out of my way. Oh, I'm off the road. I'm off the road. I'm in a tree. I'm in. I'm in death. Just death. I'm going to go back one more. Try and do this one a little bit better. Oh, get out of my way. Right, into second. Hit it on the brakes. And out. Oh, really? It's just uncalled for. Ooh. Oh, come on. Understeer is very real though there still. Yeah, as soon as Koenigsegg up this bit, I was going about 160, and it was really scary. Because uh, you're just sliding all over the place. There's no real grip. And you need to make sure you've got grip for these sections here, despite the fact they're quite tight. Okay, there we go. This is all twisty-twisty. We've done this climb before in the needle. Oh, turn, come on. This monster of understeer on this car as well. The thing you get with some understeer is though you don't feel like you're in control of the car, at least with this one I'm not losing control. I can dive hard on the brakes and get the steering around a little bit. I mean, 70 mile an hour around the corner like that is still not bad. Oh, a little bit too wide there. It's fine. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Need to get some distance on these guys behind me because they're not messing around. Whoop. Front wheel's just bit then. Tried to take me the other way. Turn. Come on, there we go. One more hairpin, then we've got a straight. Come on. Right, go. Right, this bit's quite quite straight. Don't really need to brake for any of this, he says, braking immediately. Oh, come on, turn. That was definitely tighter than I thought it was going to be. There we go. Right, nice long straight here. We've lost them completely. I don't even know how far behind me they are. But they're behind me, and that's all that matters. Another push down here. I remember doing this in a, a Vulcan. Uh, the Aston Vulcan, ages and ages ago. Uh, probably before I even started recording this. Push down here, going down towards the castle at the moment. Oh, lost control there completely. That was really squirrely under braking. Turn left, come on. Yeah, it would have been nice if I could have tuned the steering a little bit, but that's fine. It is what it is. 
So someone tweeted me the other day saying, why uh, in your videos you can suddenly go quiet and loud again? I'm doing the old classic Mario Kart thing where my head is turning as I'm turning the car. Uh, so sometimes I'm moving away from the microphone. Uh, I'm trying less, uh, uh, trying really hard to do that less and less. But uh, yeah, sorry if you're hearing that right now. Come on, turn. There we go. Down here. This is reasonably straight. Can't really keep it flat down on the floor though. Got to keep dipping on the brakes to get there, and there's a big right-hander here. Hard, hard, hard on the brakes. Turn. Oh, missed the wall. And through the castle, or through the moat, I should say. Over there, big left-hander here. It's going to be hard on the brakes coming off the cobblestones. Could have broke a little bit later there, but that's fine. But around the lake that we've got chest 10 on. There we go, that was nice. Up and over the crest and then hard on the brakes for this. Good hard acceleration at the corner. We've got a couple of tight turns up here as well on the left. So down here, tap on the brakes, go. And then hard on the brakes. Try and get some steering going, there we go. Big right-hander again. Oh, don't lose it. Uh, could have done without that, but that'll do. I'll live. Messed up my car. Oh, no, I haven't. That's fine. And then down here. Whew. I'll tell you, that wasn't an easy race. And there we go. So we've done uh, most of the content for this now. Um, there's obviously some drift zones and some other races like this, for example, that I haven't done yet. Um, but for the most part, I would consider this uh, pretty much complete. Done all the uh, the chess challenges. There's obviously loads of uh, XP boards and things that I don't necessarily need to find. As you've seen, I'm already like level 100 um, on the game. I don't particularly need that. I'm just literally playing it for the fun of it. But what I am going to say is uh, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to just travel to the mainland quickly and I'll edit the uh, the transition out for you guys so you don't have to see it because nobody wants to see that. Okay, so we're now finally on the, the main island. Uh, it does take a while to load that one, unfortunately. Uh, so as you can see, I've got plenty of content to do on here still. Um, like I've got this Colossus race. I have uh, over here, I've got uh, the Gauntlet race and the Titan race to do, uh, which I'll probably do a little bit on YouTube for because I don't see that on there very much, uh, very often, I should say. Um, but most of the other stuff I have kind of completed and, and played through. I've got barn finds and things to do. Plenty of content on the main game itself, but I'll probably do that a lot less frequently, maybe once or twice a week with a little bit longer videos, for example. Um, so I might drop those down soon, um, but I'll probably give it a break. What I do want to do, though, is as I mentioned in the last video, if you haven't seen that one, I do want to get some different content going. I don't want to get something else I can play on uh, on the regular, uh, whether that's, you know, it could be uh, Void Bastards, as I said before. I've already done a couple of videos on that. I don't know if anyone's interested in that particularly because I don't really see that on YouTube much. It's not very popular. Um, but, you know, if someone wants to wants to see that being played, I'm happy to play through that. Um, I've got 
loads of other things on Steam that I can play. I've obviously got Epic Game Store with loads of free games on there as well. I've got the PC Game Pass, so if anyone wants to see anything from that, like, I don't know, Hollow Knight, for example, there's a Hollow Knight game on there. I do want to play through that at some point because I've not played that yet. Um, I was mentioning The Witcher 3 in the last video where there's, there's lots of different content from there I could play. Um, lots of different things to go through. Um, it's just a case of whether you guys want to see it. Because ultimately, I need to enjoy the games I'm playing, but you need to enjoy what I'm playing as well so that we we can enjoy it together. So yeah, uh, I'm going to leave this episode here. Thanks for joining me on this probably final episode of uh, the Fortune Island stuff. Um, if you do want to see some more Forza Horizon 4, stick around. There'll be some more content at some point. Um, I just don't know when yet. Uh, I've also got the, tractor, the Top Gear stuff to do on here as well. Um, that'll probably come in a couple of days. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. The normal stuff you always do on YouTube uh, doesn't cost you anything, but it really helps me out as a content creator or as someone who's trying to do this as a, a hobby at the moment and trying to make it something they can do for a living. Thanks very much for your time, and thanks very much for watching these episodes.